key factors in my winning season, I think, was uh, being consistent, having a good team, having my family support, having the, the fan support. But in terms of being a driver, it's obviously being quick and determined and focused throughout the season. I've always done everything the hard way throughout my life, and uh, and then some people tried to make it even harder, so it was the, the hardest uh, way to win a world championship, but then it's even more satisfying when you do. In that last lap, I think so much went through my mind. Obviously, I, I had it for a second, then I lost it, and then for sure, you, you kind of think maybe there is a possibility now, there's only two corners left, I might have lost this world championship, but you know what you do, you just never give up. I've never once in my life given up. I always feel that I can still win all the way down to the, literally to the checkered flag and um, and I never gave up then, I kept pushing. My whole career kind of flashed by me and um, you know, my whole dream, my whole, the, the work with the team, the work with my family, is the support I've had for the last few years, just the great blessing I have of being there, just flashed by me. So once I crossed that line, I didn't know I was really on the edge of the seat like everyone else. It was satisfying, it was uh, exciting. But I was drained mentally. I really had my heart in my mouth all the way. I think I've been brought up with good values. I've uh, I've trained myself and really kept a very open mind to learn from every individual I begin to work with, whether it's a driver or engineer, or my dad, for example, and always striving to be the best. So I'm training as hard as I can. I want to know everything there is to know about the car, which I can benefit from. But I, th I think it's having really that, that determination never to give up, keep on pushing. I've been a member of this team since I was 13, so since 97, that we didn't have all those um, great partners involved. If we didn't have the great bosses that they were with the, the ambition. We didn't have these guys that are so intelligent to take away my information and the, all the data and process it and come out with the final package which is you know the McLaren MP4 24 or 23. I wouldn't be sitting on that grid or at the front of the grid or standing on the top of the podium so very proud to be driving now obviously with number one. That's how we do it. Most often than not, when it's a bad experience, it's really bad, and you've really got to control yourself and think. I just don't, I generally keep my mouth shut and try not to speak to too many people, have a bit of my own private time. For example, Japan, I just stayed in my hotel the whole the whole night, didn't say a word for a couple of days, to be honest, and uh, I got myself back together, gathered my thoughts, came back to the next race, and I won. Every car that I've driven, I've been able to extract that just that little bit more than others and um, I can't particularly tell you exactly what that is, but that's uh, a combination of things. Late braking, um, understanding of the different apexes, the different turning points, um, the speed that you're carrying into corners, um, understanding of how smooth you need to be on certain areas. Um, there's so much involved in it. There's no way it came too easy. I mean, I was at the front for two years, my first two years of Formula One, I'm in the best team. So I've got a great car, I've got a great package, it's, you know, and anyone can get into my car and drive it, but it's how you extract the most from your team, how you extract the most from your, your car, and from yourself and the people around you. And that's why I'm number one, because I've, I've really been able to extract the most from all their partners and from all the different sources, resources they have. I've had to do the same in my seat, and it just so happens I'm younger than everyone else that's ever done it. I've reset my goals, I've reached my dream goal, which is to be world champion, but there's still more dreams for me to fulfill. I'm restarting now, I want to, to win more than ever, I want to win more races, I want to be more consistent, but the ultimate goal is to win the world championship. I want to be world champion, and I was last year, I'm not this year, and I've got to work hard to make sure I do that. Yeah.